On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix or outlet cover that sags like this. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. Just a quick disclaimer before we start today's video, we are going to be working with an electrical component. My electrical code and your electrical code might be different, so always make sure that you're always up to date with your electrical codes and make sure that you have the proper permit before starting any type of electrical work. Also, working with electricity is very, very dangerous. Make sure that you always turn off the power from your circuit breaker before starting any electrical work. And if you are uncomfortable in any way working with any electrical work, make sure that you hire a professional and certified electrician. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get to the video. This video is actually a special request from one of my fellow subscribers. They were having this issue where every time they said that they put on an outlet just like this and they pull it out, the outlet just sags like this. Actually, they sent me a personal email sending me their problem. So here's the actual picture of their issue where their outlet is actually sagging every time they plug it in. So on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily fix this in many different ways. Like what I do in my past videos, I always show you what is causing this issue before we start to fix it. So let's go deep dive on what is going on. Now before you work with any type of electrical, make sure that you turn off the power from your circuit breaker and make sure that you check that it is truly de-energized by using this voltage detector. Okay, so this voltage detector, I'll leave it on the description down below of a similar type. And all the tools in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. You can tell that there is no energy when this there's energy or electrical current running through here, this will beep red. Now we can take off the outlet cover. This actually is just a mock-up, nothing is really wired. As you can see, this is what's causing it not to attach to the J box or junction box or electrical box, whatever you wanna call it. but looks like the thread inside this um, J box is threaded out. Look at this inside thread of this J box. You can tell that it's really hollow and this thing is just wiggling in there. There's no resistance. But that's scenario problem number one. Scenario number two is where you have an electrical box that the top part is damaged. So here is actual the screw that's coming from that uh, receptacle or outlet and it's not going through because it's damaged just like that so what do you do on this situation i'll show you in a bit but let's go to another scenario maybe you have a metal box like this where the clips are uh, bent like that that's what's causing it to not engage because it is not aligned with the receptacle let me know in the comment section below if you have if you can think of any other scenario these are the top three things that I could think of, but if you could think of any other problems and their solutions, leave in a comment section down below. We would love to see as a community and show the other suggestions and tips and tricks that you might have um, concerning these problems. Now that I've shown you three top problems that you might have concerning that sagging electrical outlet, let's get to the first tip and trick on how to fix it. So my first tip and trick and my most recommended that you'd use to fix this easily with no effort at all is using this product right here and it is the box doctor. These are clips that comes in 10 in each package. Again, this product right here, I'll leave it in the description down below and any other tools that I use here, it's all in the description if you're wondering where I got this product. Let's open it and take one out and it is made out of pretty much metal. So it looks very simple to use. So you see where this cutout is? This is where that damaged area is going to go, go through. And this is the top part where it always says, um, where the label says box doctor, that's your up position. And this is your bottom position. And it's simply just, it's kind of like uh, one of those paper clips, those paper holders, but it's for your J box. And all you have to do is push it right on top of the box. So simple as this, there you have it. Make sure that that middle hole is aligned with that damage area. I'm gonna be using my insulated screwdriver right here. This is actually awesome. It has a flat side and if you twist this, it opens up and you can flip it to a Phillips head. Okay, so now that you have that, it's easiest just putting back the outlet itself. Screw the bottom part. So you can see that's already tightening it up. And now you can just put your cover back on. 
Remember before when we plugged this in and we took it out, this thing would just pop out and go on the sag. Now that we place this in, you can just take it on and off and the sag is gone. This is actually the fastest and easiest solution. That's why I made it tip and trick number one. So what's great about these clips is they work for the metal electrical boxes as well. You can just clip it on there. You see how it just places right over the damaged area and it replaces this axis of replacement for that hole. And now you have a nice um, place for your screws, which will align with that. And this is actually great for this type of scenario as well. I've seen a lot of these cases right here where this is damaged and you can also use this clip over that as well. And, um, most of the time, this clip might will work on most boxes just like that. See how it replaces it. But before you put this in, I would advise that you kind of trim along this damaged area first, because if you do, that might get in the way when you start clipping it. So just take your little cutter, clip it off, clean it up a little bit, use the sand or start grinding it off to make it clean. Put this clip so you have that nice runway for the outlet screw to go through. Again, this product is called the Box Doctor and I'll leave it on the description down below. Tip and trick number two is using this tiny little cable tie or any type of skinny plastic that you might find laying around your home. Um, if you find a little piece of plastic, you can cut in pieces. So the problem that we're actually having here in scenario number one is that this screw right here is loose inside the box, right? So it's, it's moving around, it's jiggling because it has so much space around that area. So if you take this piece right here, I mean, depending on how long you want it, I, for me, I just put an inch and a half, just like that. And what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna screw this right on there, okay? So depending on how it is, sometimes you might have to cut this off a little bit because it gets a little bit thick on each side. The skinnier it is, the better. So in this case, it's kind of thick on the edge. So I'm just going to relieve just a little tiny bit. Just like that. You can use any type of super glue. And we're just going to apply just a little bit in there. Just so that this thing will hold. Okay, because if you, if you don't have that glue to stick in there, this thing will actually push in or while you're screwing it, it might not even work. So we're just shoving that little piece of plastic in there. Give it a little bit time to dry. Once that's dry, you can insert this inside that hole once again, and you can try to screw it back in just like that. I could already feel the tension already, and you can see that it's already slowly sucking it to that J box. Okay. Boom. Okay. Take your cover plate, put it back in. There you have it. So it's not popping out anymore. It's nice and secured. If you like that for yourself, you don't have to buy those clips. These are, this is super cheap, easy solution. Let's go to tip and trick number three. Tip and trick number three is if you have a metal box like this, all you have to do is get your Lyman's pliers, your long nose pliers, or whatever pliers that you have. And what you're gonna do is, you, all you gotta do is try to fix this bend, bent or damaged clip right here. Okay, so try to do your best. I know this might be located in the wall, but sometimes moving this back and forth will damage it. But all you have to do is try to do your best and try to make this straight once again. So this might take a little bit of patience and time, but you want to try to get it as much as um, aligned to this as possible right there. It doesn't matter if it's a little deep or a little over. It's okay. Um, as long as you can get that hole aligned. And if we, it's kind of twisted on the left, so I'm going to try to twist it on the right a little bit. So if you look right here, we're just doing a trial and error. This screw is still facing upwards. That means we still need to do a little bit of more adjustment. It means that I have to bend this downwards a little bit. You might end up needing to tap this in a little bit in. There you have it. Looks like we have it nice and straight now. So let's just screw that in. Sorry if you hear my kids in the background. They're playing. They're playing around. If you have a metal um j box like this just move it around like that simple fix so this solution right here doesn't work all the time only if you have a metal j box and sometimes you might have a very damaged clip up there 
it's that you can't fix but try this method right here and see if it works out for you with that being said if you like that one let's get to tips and trick number four tip and trick number four is actually a very simple solution as well if you go back to this damaged j box right here you see how it's only damaged about a quarter inch deep down sometimes the screws that you have on your switches or your receptacles are very very short so sometimes they're only like um i don't know half an, half an inch an inch on some of them in this case i only have an inch screw right here so it looks like it can still make it through that thread but if your damage goes further down um, there's actually different screw sizes that you have this these can go up to an inch This is an inch actually you can go up to an inch and a half to up to two inch longs and two inches Probably the max that they have around let me know in the comment section below if they offer longer than that But you see how long this um, This uh, this 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 goes it goes to about that deep and this is a pretty deep box So that two inch will probably work you see how there's a little bit of blockage right there and it starts to get smaller because of the damage. What you can do is you can get a toothpick and try to clear as much of that interference if there was a little piece of plastic in there that got blocked and just slowly thread it in there and it will eventually start threading in. Okay, see how, see that? There's still many more room for that screw to go in just get a longer screw they come in an inch inch and a half to two inches and again i'll leave those screw sizes on the description down below so you could get them easily all right so that's tip and trick number four now let's get to the last tip and trick which is tip and trick number five if tips and tricks number one through four does not work the only way that you can go about this is pretty much replacing the box the j box the electrical box or the junction box whatever you want to call it you just have to replace it with a brand new one. Now, depending on what type of J-Box you have in there, whether it be fiberglass, um, plastic, or metal, just assess what you have. In this case, I have a new work J-Box in there, which means that it's secured by two nails on the stud. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna have to cut that off, use one of these hand mini hacksaws, get in the corner right there again make sure that the power on your breaker is off before doing this and double check that there's no power and you'll have to cut this j box out take off the broken j box and then replace it you can either use this old work j box where you don't have to secure it let me get close to here now this old work j now this old work j box um, pretty much doesn't secure to any stud this um this will work better with switches um over uh, i don't recommend this on uh, receptacles because uh over time because this only sandwiches between um your drywall and over time on and off will shake this out and it will damage the drywall so this is pretty much good for those switches only but if you if you want to um, replace it there also is another type of old work j box which this is called the adjustable which is great i use this all the time because there's actually two screws right there and this will mount on your stud really really securely and you see how where it exits out of the two screws just place it back into the new or just place it back into your old hole and then just screw those in onto the stud so friends, that's pretty much all I have for all the tips and tricks. Uh, a bonus one that I would like to add if you want to try it is you can use JB Weld on the threaded out box and you can use this to build out a brand new one. Just, you know, squirt some inside that little hole right there and wait for it to dry and then just rebore a new um, hole for the screw to go into. But that's just the, another solution. Try it for yourself. I um, actually tried it before and it does work. Okay, it might just take a little bit of time for this to dry, but that is another solution if you have this. It has to be the JB Weld plastic two-part. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you found value, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.